The meeting of oil producers is just two days away, and crude prices have been whipsawed. Today, the commodity rose more than 2 percent after tumbling about 3 percent on Friday. And as Jackie DeAngelis reports, it's all because of some very big question marks surrounding the OPEC meeting on Wednesday. When OPEC said it would cut production in late September, but announced final details at its November 30th meeting, everyone wondered why. Now as that meeting approaches, it's becoming increasingly clear. Some members of the cartel, like the Saudis, want the cut. Others, like Iraq and Iran, are still holding out two days before the meeting, and it seems there still may be no consensus. And to further complicate matters, speculation is building that OPEC may be pressuring Russia to cut output as well, so it's not alone in its bold move. But the Russians need the revenue and may not be eager to play ball. All the volatility has raised crude prices over $45 a barrel, but all the doubts have kept them under 50. They're closer to agreement than uh, disagreement right now. I think they've tempered some of their rhetoric, and I think there's a chance of some sort of a accord of sorts. I wouldn't say it's a full-fledged, uh, lock-solid kind of a, you know, line in the sand, but I think there may be some sort of talk about at least moderating production. Over the weekend, a surprising comment from the Saudi energy minister saying that the markets will rebalance with or without a cut, possibly setting the stage to take no action. In late September, OPEC said it would cut 750,000 barrels per day from its production. The market now hoping that it would see a steeper cut than that. If there's no deal, I don't see the catastrophic uh, drop-off that people are predicting. I think this market could back off a bit and certainly trade, let's say, to the mid-40s. But I don't think this market is going much lower. It seems to have built a pretty strong base here. I'm leaning more to the fact that we probably can work our way higher. With the dollar strengthening and the OPEC deal hanging by a thread, crude prices just might see that three-handle again. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Jackie DeAngelis.